Hi, so welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I have recorded a video, you know, like sitting here with like a tripod, not moving around. It's been really long. So today we're going to be doing my skincare favorites. And you, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I don't do individual product reviews because honestly, I don't know, I find them kind of boring to just sit and talk about one product. So usually my skincare or my hair care videos or even some of my favorite videos always have a combination of reviews for all the products that I enjoy. So yeah, if you do want to know mini reviews and my favorite products that I've been using on my skin recently, keep watching. So for those of you who don't know, I am working now, which is like Monday to Friday. I am completely absorbed in my job and that has actually made me reduce the amount of things I used to do for my skin. Now honestly, I think that's a really good thing that happened because the lesser that you do to your skin, I think the more happy it is. Like, yeah, that's I, I've come to realize that at least my skin type is like that. So now that we are talking about skin type, my skin type is, uh, it's actually combination skin, so it's oily and dry, especially during the winter time. And I did have a really bad acne spell a few months back, so there is still a lot of scarring that is there. I occasionally do get a lot of pimples, especially, you know, like, during that time of the month. Yeah. For those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you will know that I love Biotique and I usually actually end up picking up a lot of like a lot of my products are very Ayurvedic in nature like they are more natural and uh, So on and I've realized that those products end up suiting my skin a lot more than the usual products that you would find So beginning with face wash. I do not use soap on my face It has been years since I've used soap on my face So but when I do use a face wash Which is usually after I come back from work or if I come back from my workout it is the Biotique Bio Neem Purifying Face Wash. It is meant for oily, acne prone skin. So I have been using this for months and months now. Uh, it is perfect if you have oily skin because it kind of takes away the excess oil without really making your skin feel really dry. And of course, I'm a huge fan of Bio Deek. So on some weekends, I do end up doing something a little extra for my skin. Like maybe I'll give myself a sheet mask or something like that. But on usual weekends when I don't really want to do too much or if I'm just feeling really lazy, I'll end up using this baby again, Biotique. My number one staple in my skincare routine since probably I have made my first skincare video on this channel has been a mud pack and I constantly keep changing the brand of mud pack that I use. Initially I was using Himalaya, then I also tried Patanjali, both of these are amazing still love them but I want to give another I want to give Biotique's mud pack a try because I haven't really tried Biotique's mud pack so this is the bio mud mud pack and this is actually meant for firming and revitalizing the face so initially when I bought it the sales lady was telling me that no no you shouldn't buy this it's not meant for your skin but honestly I've realized that especially with oily skin a mud pack is so essential like even if it doesn't say it's meant for oily skin, I've realized that a mud pack really does do my skin wonders. So in case you want to try out a new mud pack, you can give this one a try. Next, so I don't usually exfoliate my facial skin a lot, especially since I've had my acne. I've actually kind of let it be on its own, like, you know, I just let it do its own thing. I do need to exfoliate my skin every 2-3 weeks, which is when I use uh, the Bio Walnut uh, Face Scrub. This is once again a Biotique product. Initially I was using the Apricot Scrub from Patanjali which is also really great but I wanted to try out like give myself a break from Patanjali products because I was like really only using their products. So this one is also really great and I also use this on my armpits. I know it might sound weird to some of you guys but uh, if you have like dark armpits do try exfoliating them it really really works and yeah this one has been my go-to so when I usually use a scrub on my face before I use a scrub I will steam my face for a bit like probably like 10 minutes I have like a normal facial steamer that I use after I steam my face I then scrub it and then pat it dry and then I'll follow with some of my oils and serums now moving on to uh, the different oils and creams that I use on my face post all of the face packs. So uh, my dermatologist has actually told me not to put any oils or 
uh, anything on my face during my acne phase so during that time I didn't use any facial oil or creams nothing like that I only used the medicated stuff but now that the acne is actually gone I have been really working at kind of reducing the scars on my face if you've seen my previous uh, skincare video which also had tips on how I've been reducing my scars I will link it here down in the description box or probably on the screen um, but yeah so I have been still following those uh, steps to reduce my acne scars and honestly it has made a huge progress I will try to pull up photos of like from that point to today how it looks there is still a lot of um, spots like pigmentation but the amount of like scarring like the tissue scarring has actually reduced especially on this side of my face it doesn't exist anymore and that makes me so happy if you have acne scars and you know your scars have reduced I, I you will know what I'm talking about it makes me feel so good that they have actually reduced because honestly yeah I do feel self-conscious about it I mean who wouldn't uh, so I have added a few more um, serums that I have been using to reduce the acne scarring and um, those are mainly for the dark spots that have come with the acne so of course as, as I had mentioned in my last video I am still using vitamin E oil on my face so after I'll have a face pack I just put like two drops of vitamin E on my fingertips rub them together and then pat it exactly in the areas where I have my scarring uh, vitamin E by itself can be a really really thick oil so in case you're using it first of all be sure that you consult a doctor before using it because it is an oil at the end of the day and yeah you would you wouldn't want to have like a weird reaction with your skin this works really well for my skin and I have not had any crazy reactions as such I just wake up in the morning with absolutely amazing baby smooth skin which is just perfect now apart from the vitamin E oil there is also another oil that I have been including in my skincare regime this is also something I think you guys saw in my de-stressing video I was using an oil on my face and I never really mentioned it to you guys now don't be mad at me but I have a, I have a reason for that um, Whenever I start using a skincare product, I always give myself two months before I share it with you guys because that's the that's the only way I can actually say that hey this has worked wonders for me and you should try it. I don't like suggesting things without having at least tried it for like a month minimum. So yeah, this one I have been now using for like probably three to four months. The bottle is almost over. So one of my usual weekends when I had nothing to do I was sitting on Google and just trying to figure out different ways to reduce the uh, acne scarring and one of them was rose hip seed oil rose hip seed oil did I say that right so I ordered probably the smallest bottle that's available on Flipkart because I was a little scared like what if it has a weird reaction with my skin what if it doesn't work for me what am I gonna do I don't want it to you know my acne to come back luckily it didn't this is the rosehip seed oil and it's cold pressed and 100% natural as it says on the packaging. Um, if you have ever used or seen rosehip oil, you'll know that it looks literally like gold. It looks like liquid gold. Usually after I'm done using a face mask, I use this mixed with the vitamin E oil to kind of dilute it and then I use both of them together. I also end, ended up using this every night irrespective of whether I had a face pack or not. After I come back from work, I usually just wash my face with a face wash and then I end up using this oil to kind of like rehydrate my skin. Now, apart from the rosehip oil, now because the rosehip oil is kind of getting over, I thought let me try out another oil for my skin and that was tea tree oil. Tea tree oil had a lot of really positive responses on the, uh, you know, on the benefits for your skin, not just for your acne but just for your overall skin health, especially if you have oily skin and enlarged pores which I do right here I have enlarged pores so uh, while I was looking for tea tree oil I came across body shops daily solution and if you if you follow me on Instagram you saw that I received this product finally a few days back now because I have only used this product for probably three days now I'm not really gonna get into what I think about it yet because three days is just not enough to share my thoughts on this product but I'm gonna give you a first impression of it first of all I really like the smell of it it smells very medicinal but I really like it it also smells very refreshing it smells kind of minty and leafy uh, 
that's the size of the bottle i wasn't expecting it to be this big to be honest but yeah so this is the tea tree anti imperfection daily solution honestly initially when i uh, read about the product i thought it's going to be very like uh, oil based like kind of like my uh, rose hip seed oil but honestly it's not it's very um, it kind of feels like a toner especially when you apply it on your skin it feels totally like a toner and the consistency is very water like of course it comes with a dropper and makes it really easy to apply it on your skin according to the instructions given you're supposed to cleanse your face and use it after cleansing and before your moisturizer i don't really apply a moisturizer to my face as such unless i feel that my skin's feeling really dry so i just use this and i'm good to go sometimes i also mix it with my rose hip seed oil and yeah i'm good to go now that i've shared with you all of the products that i have been loving for my skin i also want to kind of talk about the changes that i have made in a uh, reference to my uh, skin in my daily life so now that i'm working at least for so for the initial few weeks when i uh, joined my office i was like of course i was really conscious about all of the acne scars on my face so i used to wear a foundation with eyeliner and go to work now i sit in my office from like probably 9:30 a.m. till till work end sometimes that can be 6:30 and sometimes that can be 10 p.m. so um I have realized that uh because I'm sitting in the AC for so many hours in the same space uh and there is literally not much of fresh air or sunlight that really comes in uh the foundation was actually not letting my pores breathe and I had a lot more pimples because of that so in case you're working and you wear a lot of makeup and go to work and you have been having a lot of problems with your skin I would suggest that try and go foundationless like don't apply a foundation on your skin not even a bb cream do not apply it just put on like some moisturizer to help your skin an eyeliner and that's it initially it was really weird for me because like there were days when i had like so much like i had like deep dark circles or days when you know like like you can see there's a pimple here on my face and i would and i constantly wanted to like hide it but then i realized that I, that was actually not doing anything good for my skin it was actually making my skin suffer more Uh, but yeah so yeah now i completely i go completely foundationless to office and also a lot of times when i'm just going to go meet my friends and honestly i feel that like that has actually helped my skin get better it has reduced the number of pimples i would have on like a usual basis and yeah and i'm really really happy about that uh i still do wear foundation like today i am right now wearing foundation or if i'm really going to be going out to some place fancy i will wear foundation but i try to keep it really minimal and i try to keep it only in like you know just to highlight or just to kind of mattify certain parts of my face so if you do use makeup on a usual basis make sure that first of all that your makeup is clean and secondly try and use as little as possible and really let your skin breathe because i feel if you actually invest all of your time and effort in your skin you would actually it would actually would end up saving you so much more money and effort to look good so yeah i mean and 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 let's face it healthy skin is the best thing possible like you can if you wake up with completely clear skin that's that's goals that's life goals so yeah so those were my skincare favorites for my winter uh, and skincare favorites and routine for the winter time um i hope that uh, these products kind of help you guys in case you do try them out do leave them in the comments below in case you are trying out any of the oils i will once again say that do consult with a doctor if you are unsure whether they, you should try them out or not and uh, yeah that's my disclaimer don't forget to leave video suggestions in the comments below don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel you guys and like i always say stay fabulous